night when we were making this video right here <coughs> uh, we fired up as usual all the virtual machines uh, there are four over there three running Windows 10 and this one is Windows 7 and this is our server right here and then we had the laptop as well the physical one and <coughs> last night in this video uh, three out of uh, sorry three out of five uh, um, operating system they were successful in uh, installing the um, deploying uh, Firefox via PDQ deploy over here I've covered how to get the PDQ and all that in the other video uh, that should be this one uh, the introduction right here so if you have any questions uh, about what I'm doing uh, you can watch this video so let's get I was able to fix um, the issue that prevented uh, my Windows 7 and the test machine right here this one not getting the um, Firefox over there so the issue was that uh, they were not getting the uh, same IP uh, address from the same server uh, they had some weird like I, when I ran the IP, IP config there was something uh, weird DNS MS home.net something like that so basically what's happening was that uh, they were not uh, uh, Active Directory had no record of their DNS so when it was sending there it was getting failed so I'm gonna try and run it's still another trial and error I haven't tried it yet so let's get started and see if this works this time so I was able to uh, fix it uh, everything this morning but uh, we had to go somewhere it was Halloween my son had to go out uh, so I left it and now I'm back and trying to see if we can work it out uh, it's so hard to see from back here okay it's Firefox we're gonna click on deploy once we're gonna choose our targets like usual and we're gonna go with the <coughs> everything so we're getting all the um, machines connected to our uh, Active Directory domain regardless whether they are um, uh, physical or virtual and we're leaving Windows 8 behind because it does have all the operating system and I don't want to miss mess with this one um, because it's our home computer and if it gets down everybody will be crying so let's go click ok and you see i get all the check mark except for local and i know the reason reason is that the cable is not connected let me go and connect the ethernet cable and we'll get that check mark as well all right so you see the cable is in and it's uh, still yellow uh, if there is a right click and refresh it choose targets or what I can do is I can delete here and re-add it and see if that works let's see even the sound laptop and I get the check mark right there so all the machines are in there now once I click deploy now uh, it should show up on all of my machines here here and here so let's see again we're gonna deploy here you see all the screens none of them has Firefox installed uh, the three machines that uh, were able to get the Firefox I uh, have already uninstalled it so now I'm gonna click on deploy and you can see what's happening under the status they're connecting um, let me put it like this sorry about the shaky hand I wish I could fix it so you see it's running on the right side uh, over there under deployment 17 uh, 
but uh, oh okay now its status is connected and running I'm gonna back down so you can see how it's appearing it's appearing one by one on all of the machines and right there you see so it can, went from right to left all the way one by one so it's successful if we go and run the Firefox on all of them it should work right <clears throat> so you can see uh, Firefox is taking time here because of this I did not uh, give it the alternate DNS that's Google one that's why it's not working here same is the case here you can see it says no internet so I have to do that but it got the somehow it has the Firefox page up nope so it's just a generic page privacy notice so that's the internet page privacy notice and let's see we get the privacy notice here all right so this is how you work it out and this is how you deploy it and you know er everything is deployed on your network so you don't have to worry about anything um, like you don't have to remote desktop into five computers uh, one by one install it deployment is very easy uh, from one click uh, you get all the computers deployed with that software <laughs> if you have any questions comments uh, please leave in, leave them in the comments if you like the video please share and subscribe and you have a good night